We had all seen beautiful women as valets, as seconds, but no one had ever seen the likes of Joni. I'm not sure who that was supposed to hurt. How oh, these girls can really take it. Here she comes running right over the You know, before China came on the scene, female wrestling was like the popcorn match, and they called that the match that they put on the card when nothing was really going on, when people would go to the bathroom or go buy popcorn. That shampoo in the eyes. Oh, look! Those nails, they're digging in. Oh! What? Hey, what? Oh. Back then, it was, you know, stupid, silly, paddle on the pole match, bra and panties match, tart and feathered match. I mean, like, just stupid Backhand shot, Dan, not a knockdown. China came through and busted that glass ceiling and kind of said, you ain't putting me in a bad light. <laughs> I'll take your light and shove it. Shawn Michaels and Triple H, they were at the top of the pecking order at that time in the WWE. So for them to put themselves on the line for Joni, she had to produce. No one's ever done that in the business before. Big jacked up female heater. I know both of us at the same time were thinking like, ooh, female bodyguard. <laughs> we brought it to Vince and he hated it. Oh, come on, no one's gonna buy that. Nobody's gonna wanna sell for a girl. You guys are morons. This was something we both really believed in. We just knew it would work. But if she's a screw up, if she's a head case, it's on you, it's your fault. You can have all the credentials in the world if you're a football player and they hand you the ball, you better not fumble. Well, Joni didn't fumble. Who the hell's that? Who is that? In the world? Is, that a, is that a woman? She was an anonymous figure first coming and grabbing Marlena from the crowd and just this physical specimen of a woman, unlike anything I'd ever seen before. Security taking that lady away. Laura jail! I vividly remember the first time I saw Joni. I was actually in the audience, kind of in disguise. And we saw Joni come out of the crowd and shake Terry Runnels like a rag doll. She shook the living dog caca out of me. The smaller I was, the larger Joni was, the more amazing it looked. I remember telling her, don't go easy. I would much rather it hurt me tomorrow than it looked like on live TV. Get her off of her. The next morning, we were in the hotel, and I went to turn, and I was like, it was like I had been in some god awful car crash. She arrived. Welcome to the party, girl. You are now officially one of us. Talk about your Psalms, talk about John 316. Austin 316 says I just whipped your ass. If you smell. Everywhere I go, somewhere today, somebody will come up to me and talk about the Attitude Era. There was never anything like it to that point, and there will never be anything like it in the future. WWE had traditionally been a pretty conservative company. But by the late 90s, the presentation had changed. Limits were being pushed. The Attitude Era pushed every envelope, crossed every line possible, but that was by design. WWE was going hard head to head against WCW. And at that time, WCW was winning. They were stealing left and right, taking our superstars, and WWE had to come up with something special, something unique. As WWE was becoming edgier, I think DX was at the forefront of that. The Generation X, Triple H, HBK, China. Hunter and Sean are pretty much at the top of this thing. And that's how she was coming in. You make the rules, and we will break them. You'd see Hunter and Sean out there acting like immature schoolboys that should be sent to the principal. And then in the back was China. No nonsense, staring straight ahead at the camera with their arms folded. She was the straight man that DX needed. Like in comic terms, there's the straight man, right? Like we needed to have somebody that was like the rudder for all of the other immaturity to kind of bounce off of and bounce around. Show us what you're bringing to the barbecue, girl. That is the big 
stick. See, there's a price you pay for being a wrestler. This was not supposed to happen. Whoa.